What's going on, family? What's going on? What's going down? What's shaking? Welcome to another episode of Super Black Comic Book Reviews by Jonathan Soul. Now I have a, a fantastic uh, uh, first issue uh, for you. This is uh, Sharpshooter on the Godhood Comics label. Sharpshooter. Dun, 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 dun. Now, this is a, a full cover here, you know, Time Magazine. Uh, I've seen people do this from time to time, take Time Magazine or, or some other, you know. So, But this is actually a comic about a, uh, a superhero who is an archer. Okay, he's an archer. Now, the thing that I think is groovy about this is that for a first issue, the art is very strong. And the writing is strong. Um, because it's the first issue, there's a lot of flashbacks. So, you know, uh, some people dig that as a shorthand to kind of get us up to speed on the character or whatever. Some people don't. You know, it's the old the saying like, you know, show don't tell kind of thing. But um, because there's a pretty good balance between the flashbacks, I think it, sh it strikes a, you know, fairly good balance. Now, uh, it was created and written by uh, Tyler Martin and uh, co-written by uh, James Couch. Okay, and you can see the rest of the team there. All right. All right. Oh, copyright 2020. So this is this is fresh out the oven. It's still got the warm smell to it. Got the warm, the, the warm oven smell. And, and here's a, here again is, is the, one of the reasons why Kickstarters is so important. If you want something other than... Let's see, do I got, it? got any DC comics and Marvel comics here? Uh, I think I got a, I think I got Black Panther someplace. But if you want something other than Marvel and DC, you know, you might have to do a Kickstarter. You know, you might have to join a Kickstarter because, uh, you know, it takes bread. It takes money to, uh, to put these things together. All right, so let's go. As you can tell, he's the kind of archer that has the trick arrows. Uh, his name is Chris Hill, and of course he goes by the name of Sharpshooter. Now, what I thought was funny is that he's the blind archer, so that's something new. You know what I mean? Uh, we had we've seen you know what Green Arrow and Speedy and uh, and uh, Hawkeye on the Marvel side, um, but all of these cats can see. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, then. So we're in Atlanta right now. Uh, folk is running, and if you see, they got this uh, metal suitcase here. These cats are armed and desperate. Out of nowhere, we see this uh, arrow comes, goes right through the shoulder. So uh, this brother definitely has a non-lethal, you know, vibration to him. Trick arrow, so it kind of opens up like it's like a grappling hook or something. He yanks the guy back. And then, of course, there's smoke and so forth. And you see him, you know, kind of taking these assailants out. And... Uh, and then, of course, we get the reveal of the archer. So at this point, this is when we get the flashbacks and bounce. So one thing I, I think that's interesting is this, is that the way uh, Tyler and uh, James kind of developed the character. Um, thank God this cat wasn't one of those, you know, ex-convict, you know, kind of stuff. You know how DC, how DC and Marvel do us kind of a thing. Uh, this brother did grow up hard. But he worked hard and made something of himself. Uh, I'm not going to tell you everything, obviously, because I want you to go to, once you go to Godhood Comics and uh, and buy the books. Now, in Godhood, of course, we got a sharpshooter, and going to the comic book shelf of Destiny, and then of course you can also get Mega Woman. And what's groovy is. Sharpshooter and Mega Woman, they're part of the same universe. And I think she might have been mentioned in this book about three times. You know, Mega Woman is trouble, but Sharpshooter is a beast. You know what I mean? That kind of a thing. So uh, I thought that was kind of cool that um, they share in the same universe, which they should. So anyway, so we get a little bit of a history of this brother. He was an Olympic level athlete and uh, so was his girlfriend and tragedy struck. So I think it's safe to show you this part. And this is another reason why I say the writing is pretty strong. Now, you can see here, hopefully the reflection isn't too bad. You can see here that this is like a, a crash site, like an explosion site. And in the 90s, some of y'all, you know, was around, some of y'all wasn't.
But in the 90s, there was a series of bombing attacks that happened in Atlanta. I think two in Atlanta and one in Alabama or Birmingham, Alabama, something. Where this guy would leave like backpacks or whatever. He'd blow shit up. Uh, I think he killed several people and several hundred injured. And so, um, and one of it was a stadium where Olympic Games were being held, if memory serves uh, properly. Yeah, I can Google it. Just look up bombing attacks, uh, Atlanta. Uh, you got to say 90s because, you know, devils was bombing black churches and stuff. So you got to give it an era and put Olympics or whatever. I think it was like Cent Centennial Stadium or whatever. But anyway, so this has, this is, that's, that's real world. And so they kind of given this brother's injury some context. The other thing that I thought was interesting was um, his connection to where he is. Now you just look and you say, oh, he's just in a regular hospital. But there's more to it. And I don't want to give it all away because I want you to go here and buy the book. So uh, so anyway, so so we get a little bit of, I don't want to treat that part of da 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 I want to that part of da 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 But one thing that's interesting is this page kind of gives a reveal as to how um, he's able to see and fire those trick arrows. And uh, of course, there's all kinds of connective tissue between the, the, the hospital, the company and some people in the shadows or whatever. So it's, it's a pretty good it's a pretty good uh, a pretty good first issue. And, um, you know, me, I, I'm, I'm generally kind of impatient when it comes to reading. <laughs> and so I want to get it right to, into the into the action. But I think that that uh, Tyler and James kind of give a good balance of giving us just enough of the history to 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 understand why the character is behaving the way he is and some of his motivations and uh, and still keep it, you know, bangs that pile. So if you're interested in a, uh, a really groovy action comic, I definitely would suggest you pick this up. Uh, I would say it will be rated just like it in the book. And this is nothing I appreciate. Uh, they gave it teen, you know, explicit content. So the explicit content that I saw was like uh, a deaf scene kind of a thing. So obviously, you know, I wouldn't give it, let's say my kids are still small, they're adults, but let's say it's small. I would give it maybe to my son in middle school or something like that. Uh, you know, that kind of a thing. You know, once he you know, hit 13, 14, whatever, they probably seen scary movies at the point anyway. But I wouldn't give it to toddlers or whatever. So... This definitely is a book that I would uh, suggest you. And just, you know, if you're a comic enthusiast like myself, add it to your collection. This is issue number one. And, um, you know, hopefully issue number two will be out soon. Uh, sometimes these brothers and sisters, you know, they do a lot of Kickstarters. You know, they, they do Kickstarters to fund, you know, the issues because it can be an expensive proposition. And everybody, almost everybody I'm talking to is doing this part time. You know, they got gigs and families to take care of. So anywho, uh, you can go to John Vassol, johnvassol.com to get more of my content. I have interviews with creators. I'm actually going to reach out to uh, Travis and uh, James. And because uh, I, you know, I've also reviewed Mega Woman. So I want to bring them on the program. And uh, 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 you can see my comic book reviews. And then, of course, you can go here, Amazon to buy my sci-fi novel, Malcolm Mars. Uh, three uh, engineers take their families in a homemade starship to Mars to build a whole new scene. And uh, it's the kind of sci-fi book <clears throat> that I want. I wanted to see written. Big emphasis on family, big emphasis on African-American culture and uh, the politics around it and alien visitations and spaceships and technology and and uh, all kinds of stuff. It's the kind of book that I want to see uh, written. And it wasn't there, so I wrote it. All right. Love you guys. Hope our dreams come true. John the Soul, John the Soul .com on Twitter, Instagram. Uh, my podcast is on SoundCloud and iTunes. But, of course, you can always just go to John the Soul .com to catch all my content. All right. Love you guys. Peace.